wherever you are right now i want you to use this opportunity to take your holy communion where you find yourself and i believe that you will be blessed take your holy communion This is my body which is broken for you. Drink this is my blood which was shed for you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. For my flesh is eating me and my blood is drinking me. The cup of blessing that we bless is the communion of the blood of Christ. The bread which we drink is the communion of the body of Christ. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and the verse number 16. The cup of blessing which we bless is another communion of the blood of Christ. Take the cup of blessing wherever you find yourself. Gracious Father, the Lord of glory, we thank you and we praise your holy name for this cup of blessing that you've given us today. As we take on this day that we have designated and has put aside to thank you, Father Lord, show your mercy, show your power to us in its wondrous and its marvelous ways. May this blood be the reason for our strength for years to come, even in our old age, as we render this day of thanksgiving to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, take up the cup of blessing wherever you are. The latter part of the scripture says the body or the bread which we break is not the communion of the body of Christ. Take the body of Jesus Christ wherever you are. Gracious Father, the Lord of glory, we thank you for the body of Jesus Christ that we are about to take. Gracious Father, we ask that may this body strengthen not only our physical being but may it strengthen our spirit as well and we ask that may most of the strength go to our spirits because it is our spirit that encourages us in the dark times when they want to take advantage of us so father lord through this body strengthen our spirits in the name of the lord jesus christ the son of the living god the body of jesus christ speaks for you now as you take it And as you've done that, lift up your hands wherever you are for your blessing. May the Lord be your strength and guide. As the luminous ecclesia, an assembly that its light shines bright for many generations to see. 
may your light shine so bright that your children may partake of this great light. May they partake of this great light in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May they partake of this great light, I say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bantos kofolondis, pralagas torobondas kasandis, a libre desto frolombro ke la disca fashantas. Father Lord, yes. May peace continually rest in their home. May peace continually rest in their home. May joy find its way into their lives. In their difficult times, Lord, empower them with your words. Help them to know that indeed we serve a living God. And this living God has never left us before. Let them know of your power. Let them know of your might. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May every adversary be rebuked for their sake. May every adversary be rebuked for their sake. For their unwavering and their unfailing work in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May every adversary be rebuked, be cast down for their sake. For all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. Gracious Father, the Lord of glory, we thank you. Thank you for all your children across all the churches that we have established and that we continue to establish by your divine instruction. We ask that you give us the strength to persist. Father Lord, though it may seem like stress, though it may seem like pressure, Father Lord, give us the, the strength to persist, the strength to move forward in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Gracious Father, we thank you. We thank you and we praise your holy name. There's none like you and there's none compared to you. Who is like unto thee, O God? Among the gods, who is like unto thee? There's none compared to your glorious majesty. Yes. In Jesus' name, they are protected. Amen. Shout a wonderful hallelujah wherever you are for the name of the Lord.